State of the capital and Major General Abdallah Mohammed, a Kenya Air Force officer has taken over the administration of Nairobi County. As the national government completed the takeover of the county, he will head the newly created Nairobi Metropolitan Services, whose core job will be to, among other things, ensure service delivery in the capital resumes. Ken Majungu has the details. The Nairobi City County Assembly has been notified of the transfer of the specified functions. A recital by the Attorney General Kihara Kariuki, followed by an exchange of legal instruments between the Governor of Nairobi County and the Cabinet Secretary in charge of devolution, Eugene Wamalwa. This ceremony convened at State House marks the end of the process to take over the administration of the capital and the beginning of a new order at the County of Nairobi. The city will now be under what would be known as Nairobi Metropolitan Services. The man in charge, a Major General, an Air Force officer, Abdallah Mohammed Mbadi, he will be deputized by Enos Onyango Momanyi. What we are doing is not a favor. <coughs> it is a service and we must provide it. And we cannot turn back. Last month, Mike Mbuvi Sonko handed over a number of important services to the national government. Today, he officially signed them over to the national government. Major General Abdallah Mohammed will effective immediately begin to exercise those powers and together with other agencies restore the glory of Nairobi, which the president admits has been lost. Unfortunately, the creation of the Nairobi Regeneration Committee proved to be an inadequate measure as it was incapable of effectively taking charge and directing the changes that needed to be implemented. The Nairobi Metropolitan Services will now have another stab at dismantling cartels and ending endemic corruption at City Hall. In 100 days, this new team must ensure that the city is clean through garbage collection. The president was specific on the use of county garbage collection trucks as opposed to private collectors. The team also has to ensure they review major development projects and plan how they will take off for struck development approvals by various investors and recover grabbed county land, among other obligations. And I look forward to seeing positive results in the shortest possible time. The team also has to ensure they review major development projects and plan how they will take off for struck development approvals by various investors and recover grabbed county land, among other obligations. Mike Mbuvisonko, however, retains his position as the governor and will spend more time clearing his name in court of corruption charges facing him. His role in the county will largely be ceremonial. Ken Mijungu, NTV.